In this video series, we're going to focus on how we can create a range slider like this, and then we can zoom in or zoom out again like that as well. So let's try to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to create the zoom range slider in Chart.js 4, and this is part one. So we have here our border template, and if you want to get our border template, check out Chart.js3.com, getting started, this link, which you can find as well in the description box. Scroll down and copy this chunk of code, and you're good to go. Next, if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page here, which you can find as well in the description box, where you can have access to many source codes, including this source code here. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to start working on, well, let's make it a bit more exciting by extending the amount of values we have. So we're going to do this first. It's going to put in here, there we are, and then we add up here as well. Save that, refresh. All right, we've got now all of this. Now what I want to do is the following. I want to start to create a plugin where we have this range slider and I'm going to create a custom range slider in the canvas. You might say, why would we do that? You could do it in the input, that is correct. Different video for that as well. Anyway, with this one, we're going to do it in the canvas itself. So I'm going to say comma here, I'm going to create a plugin. So we say your plugins and then we can say here, a range or let's say zoom range slider. Let's copy this. Then we can say a slash slash zoom range slider plugin block constant the zoom range slider ID zoom range slider. And then we have here the following. So what we need here is we want to draw the shape of that. We want to say after data sets draw because we want to draw it after we draw the data sets. So we're going to say chart, arcs, and plugins. Put it like that, save, refresh, nothing happens yet. We just have this extended item here. All we want to do now is start doing object destructuring. If you don't know object destructuring, check out my video, Understanding Chart.js Object Destructuring. It's very useful. So what we're going to do here, CTX. What we want to have here as well is the chart area. And the reason why we'll be needing the chart area is basically this. We have here the space or we have to make here basically a bar that looks like an input or a range slider. So we have a rounded border bar we will make. And then we have a dot here that will just slide from one side to another. So we need the chart area because then we can get the measurement because I want to start from this point here all the way to the very end here. For that, we do need to have some space here. So we're going to make that space as well. So first of all, let's do this here. It's a chart area. Then we're going to say here, we'll probably need the left position, the top position, the right, and the width. So why all of these? For that, I have a video on the same chart, yes, uh, chart area, which is very useful as well. But just in essence, we have here the space. We want to start here. We need, we need to know the width of this. And then we have here the top because we want to start at the very top here. All right. So now we have this here. And what we do need to do here is to figure out here, or at least this part here, that we have space for it. Our legend is there. I want to make sure we have additional space. I'm going to say a layout. So we say layout, and then we can put a comma here. And then I'm going to say here a layout, and then we're going to say here padding. And in the padding, I can break that down in an object. And I'm going to say top, and we can say here, well, maybe 30 pixels. I don't know how much we need, but 30 pixels might be more than sufficient. And of course, we can always adjust that. I think that's more than enough. So now we have this here, and let's start to draw the item. To do this, I'm going to say here CTX dot begin path. And the reason why I say begin path, I'm going to create a new shape, and that shape is independent of anything else. So then what I want to do is I want to give it a color. I'm going to say CTX dot fill style. I want to give this color light gray. So we have a light gray color. Then what I want to do is I want to define the rectangle. So we can say here, basically could say here rectangle and then you put in the coordinates. What I'm going to use instead of rectangle, I'm going to use here the round rectangle. Why I'm using this one instead of the other one? Because we are allowed to do here rounded borders very easy. That's really nice that they have added up this function. So what we need here is the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and then we have here the width, the height, and then finally here the border radius. For the border radius, I'll just put it in 10 pixels. Then what I want to do is I want to start at the left side. Basically, I want to start with this line here. 
This is in the chart area, the left side. Remember, we had this one here. So that's where you get that. Next, the Y coordinate will be the very top and probably need to do some tweaking, but we'll do that later on. So we say at top, the width will be basically the width from this point all the way there. We can just grab that. And then the height, how many pixels in height or thick, or how thick do we want to have that? Let's say um, maybe 20 pixels. Let's save that. Refresh. And of course, we don't have anything yet. Why? We need to have here, of course, the command ctx.fill to draw the shape. Save. Refresh. As you can see here, it starts, but it starts at slightly wrong position. We couldn't even push it up, I guess. We're going to the top. Maybe we don't need the top. We can say here 0 or, well, let's say 10. Save that. Refresh. And there it looks nice. So that's quite suitable. In the next video, we're going to start to make the circular dot that will allow to slide the or use use it to slide the range slider.